हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टूडे टॉपिक इज मेल रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट मेल रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम एंड द फर्स्ट थिंग इज व्हाट आर द वेरियस पार्ट्स सो द पार्ट्स ऑफ मेल रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम आर डिवाइडेड इनटू टू टाइप्स प्राइमरी पार्ट्स एंड सेकेंडरी और एसेसरी पार्ट्स नाउ प्राइमरी पार्ट्स आर अ पेयर ऑफ टेस्टिस which are enclosed in a bag or pouch like structure called scrotum or scrotal sac now why are testes the primary sex organs this is because of the reason that in each testy there are large number of semi nymphous tubules and the main function of gonads or the sex organs is to produce gametes so the male gametes the sperms are produced in these mammiferous tubules the spermatogenesis takes place here so the testes are the primary sex organ now you can see the space between the mammiferous tubules is filled with another type of cells called leydig cells now the function of testes are two testy performs a dual function number 1 the production of male gamete that is sperm number 2 the production of male hormone that is testosterone and testosterone hormone is responsible for secondary sexual characters in case of males so the testosterone is produced by these cells called leydig cells okay now we come to the accessory or the secondary organs now the sperms which are produced here then the ducts open and this cap like structure which is there in the ovary uh, sorry testes this cap like structure called epididymis so the sperms get stored here in the epididymis from the epididymis the sperms enter into this tube like structure called vas deferens and it ascends up while ascending it receives the secretions from seminal vesicles prostate gland and corpus gland it also receives urine from urinary bladder and then it continues into this tube called urethra now urethra is covered by muscular penis which has very very rich supply of blood now the sperms mix with the secretions of seminal vesicle prostate gland and corpus gland and this mixture that is sperms secretion of copper gland prostate and seminal vesicles is called semen it is a milky white fluid now this semen is ejaculated and transferred to the female genital tract with the help of penis right so the accessory sex organs are also very very important now why penis is having a rich supply of blood so that at the time of sexual intercourse when there is increase of flow of blood in the penis it helps in erection and it makes it easy to pass the sperm semen into the female genital tract now what is the function of these seminal vesicles prostate and copper glands now seminal vesicles the sperms are mobile but the secretion of seminal vesicles increases its mobility now prostate gland makes the semen alkaline and the copper gland secretion help in lubrication during the sexual act and the secretions of these and sperms i already told you called semen and these secretions also you know act as a nutrient medium for the sperms so during the sexual act the the semen is transferred into the vagina or the genital tract of the female and the sexual process completes now the other function of urethra is to pass out urine that is micturition but it can perform only one function at one time when it is when micturition will take place ejaculation will not take place that is when the person is passing urine 
he can't ejaculate and when ejaculation is taking place and then micturition or urine can't be passed at that time right now these tubes are responsible for carrying the sperms and during vasectomy what happens is that these tubes are cut ligated tight so the sperms can't enter into the semen so semen is now without sperm but there are some doubts you know myths in the mind of uh, males that it leads to uh, you know loss of uh, virility or something but there is no such effect on the person it helps in family planning it helps in avoiding pregnancy due to sexual intercourse so that is all about male reproductive system thank you